Four o'clock felony charges just filed in the case of a wrong way driver who nearly struck the motorcade of Vice President Kamala Harris here in Milwaukee. Wayne Wacker was already facing dr a drunk driving charge. Now prosecutors just added a felony charge as well. 12 News' is Nick Bohr broke the original story this week. And Nick, by filing this charge, prosecutors are saying Wacker posed a deadly risk. That's their allegations in this criminal complaint that was just filed. That includes uh, the risk to uh, the death of the Vice President herself. Video from the Department of transportation cameras around 830 Monday night show the wrong way driver into the freeway in the Marquette interchange it going the wrong way just as Vice President Harris's motorcade is heading eastbound toward the lake. Uh, she just left a campaign event in Brookfield. The car appears to be driving slowly westbound in the eastbound left lanes as the motorcade drives past just feet away. It stopped by the last cars in the motorcade Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputies and according to the criminal complaint just filed Wacker's preliminary Blood alcohol test was 0.25, three times the legal limit. However, he's charged with recklessly endangering safety, accused of causing a substantial risk to another person of, or, of death or great bodily harm. And the defendant is aware of that risk. And reading from the complaint, this, it says Wacker told investigators he had no recollection of entering the freeway or almost striking another vehicle and stated he did not have any intention of harming the vice president or anybody on her campaign. Nick, Wacker was earlier ticketed for drunk driving, but that's not part of this complaint. Well, in Wisconsin, first offense drunk driving isn't considered a criminal matter, but it did result in a nearly $1,100 ticket. This recklessly endangering safety charge carries a possible prison sentence, though, of up to 10 years. And Nick Bohr with that breaking news here. Nick, thank you. 12 News first broke this story Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. You can watch our report and the video of the wrong way driver. It's posted right now on the 12 News mobile app.